Good afternoon, my name is Josh from Cyclones Oz. I've got a detailed update on the storms that we are expecting tomorrow through parts of central and southeastern Queensland. And this detailed update, we're going to be talking about the severe thunderstorm risk because it is now elevated through parts of Queensland and we could be talking about some long track supercell thunderstorms later into the night. So we're getting to see this cloud now moving in from western Queensland. There's no rainfall or thunderstorm activity associated with it just yet and it is in extreme southwestern Queensland. Think around the Birdsville and the Thargaminda area so it is way out of the way right now. And the nearest thunderstorms to the Brisbane area up here around the Emerald and the Jericho area, again, of no concern to southeast Queensland, obviously, considering they're over 1,500 kilometres away. And a bit of cloud cover here and there, but apart from that, it is high and dry through southeast Queensland. And when I say dry, I mean dry. It's still very warm, but we're talking about a lot of this dry air pushing in from the west, and that is keeping things very stable across southeast Queensland. And that's why no storm activity has fired up there today. Now, if you are brand new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. But let's get started stuck straight into the forecast aspect of this update and talk about what we're expecting tomorrow afternoon through parts of southeastern Queensland because some gnarly storms are a possibility. So as we've been talking about for the last couple of days, we're expecting a different variety of thunderstorms to push in here from the west and these are going to be our squally thunderstorms. So lines of clusters of thunderstorms are expected to be the cells that we will see roll in from the west and heading out in towards the east. So think long tracked, large but very brief thunderstorms to be tracking in from the west out towards the east, yeah, bringing that heavy rainfall and that damaging wind threat that we're normally used to seeing in sort of January or February. It's a bit of a weird outbreak for this time of the year, but if you want a recent comparison, think back to November the 8th. We had some pretty big thunderstorms through southeast Queensland down here on November the 8th. In fact, a few spots picked up over 120 millimetres of rainfall, and whilst we're not going to be talking about anything as extreme, the environment is very much favouring some uh, short-lived but long-tracked squally thunderstorms bringing in that heavy rainfall and damage and wind threats. We could be talking about some rainfall accumulations between 30 to 60 millimetres from the right thunderstorm and potentially wind gusts up to 115 to 120 kilometres an hour or so. These thunderstorms are also going to start off pretty early. I mean, this is a snapshot at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning with thunderstorm activity already bubbling away around the Charleville and the uh, Thargaminda area, and a few stronger, potentially severe thunderstorms already beginning to bubble away around the Roma area, as well as this humidity surges in. These thunderstorms will continue to pick up steam. We're expecting a solid line of big-time thunderstorms pushing in towards the central highlands and then down in towards the uh, Granite Belt and Darling Downs areas. We get out towards the early hours of the afternoon. This is the snapshot here at midday for southeast Queensland. You can see things beginning to ramp up here around the Toowoomba and the Warwick area and then that's going to push out towards Chinchilla and Dolby and then north up towards Rolleston here and then as far north as Emerald inland from Rockhampton we could be seeing some significant squall action as well. Now the strongest thunderstorm activity is expected between 11am and 3pm tomorrow afternoon at least of the squall variety which means these significant thunderstorms are going to be occurring at, during that time frame. That's the squall thunderstorms. We've got a separate supercell thunderstorm risk later on so stick with me and I'll give an explanation on that in just a few minutes. But back to the afternoon, the early afternoon hours especially, we are expecting thunderstorms to track through this area here, bringing some heavy rainfall. Now, whilst we're going to be seeing long tracks of thunderstorms, they're going to be moving out from the west and into the east, as already explained, and lots of rainfall is expected to fall. In fact, in this red outline here, there's going to be one or two spots that pick up close to 100 millimetres of rainfall, and this could include Chinchilla, Kingaroy, Eidsvold, Gangda, out towards Tarum, and even as far inland as Roma and Injun could be in for those bigger rainfall accumulations. So again, another feature that we need to be watching the rainfall accumulation side of this thunderstorm outbreak. These thunderstorms will are then expected to pile into the southeast corner of Queensland, including Brisbane and the Gold Coast from about midday onwards, but picking up likely around the one or two o'clock uh, time frame, pushing in towards Brisbane around two o'clock and then down towards the Gold Coast as we get closer to about three o'clock. Could be an hour before that, could be an hour after that. Details are still a little bit murky. Now, conditions into the scenic rim, as we mentioned in this morning's forecast update, are looking favourable for some stronger thunderstorm activity. So whilst we're going to keep with our severe thunderstorm risk up here in towards the North Burnett forecast district and inland from the Wide Bay and the Sunshine Coast area pushing west from Gympie out towards Miles and Chinchilla. We've got a separate severe thunderstorm risk down here. We've got a more isolated but likely a more significant severe thunderstorm risk along the border ranges and through the scenic rim around Boona and Bow Desert. One or two strong thunderstorms may get themselves going down here and if we have a look at a convective sounding whilst the environment is extremely moist and relatively unfavorable for significant hailstones for example you can see that there is some great 
wind shear in here, which could produce some very significant wind gusts as well into the lower levels. And some of these thunderstorms may become organized enough to actually begin dropping large hailstones. So there will be that separate risk through this part of the scenic rim in southeastern Queensland. Plus, we'll also have that substantial rainfall risk as well. The good news is thunderstorms are going to be moving a little bit quicker compared to previous forecasts uh, at about 30 knots compared to the 20 or 15 knots that we had a couple of days ago, which means thunderstorms are not going to be sitting over those areas for as long. But there's now a lot more moisture in the environment, particularly through this part of the scenic rim and just southeast Queensland in general, which means that kind of cancelled it, it cancels it out. Slower moving thunderstorms means more rainfall. So the fact that they're now moving along a little bit faster is good news, but that gets cancelled out by an increase in moisture in the environment, which means that the rainfall is still going to be between that 30 to 60 millimeter mark if you get impacted by severe thunderstorm activity. Now, in terms of Brisbane and the Gold Coast, the risk is a lot more broader tomorrow, which means both Brisbane and the Gold Coast are looking very likely to see something. As opposed to the last couple of days, where we've been tracking severe thunderstorm activity in a very isolated pockets or very isolated pockets of Queensland. Tomorrow, it is a massive mix of locations through Queensland that are all looking at thunderstorm potential. Now, severe thunderstorms are possible into Brisbane and the Gold Coast, but as mentioned, they should remain inland. They're likely to remain stronger inland. Uh, however, again, still a possibility, so make sure you are ready for some damaging wind gust action, maybe some heavy rainfall action, and then into the Gold Coast hinterland, you could also be talking about some large hailstone action as well. Now, keep in mind, there is no way we can draw a comparison to the setup tomorrow as to what we've seen uh, yesterday and also on Monday. Giant hailstones are not in the picture tomorrow. We're not expecting giant hailstones at all. Don't get me wrong, one or two storms may drop giant hailstones, and we're getting to the outlook for that in just a second. But for Southeast Queensland, Brisbane, and the Gold Coast particularly, giant hailstones are a very minimal risk tomorrow. So the risk to cars and other property, very, very minimal through tomorrow afternoon and evening. It is a very stock standard later summer or later storm season outbreak. Think to your normal January or February late night school activity. That's the sort, of, uh, the sort of stuff that we're expecting through Southeast Queensland tomorrow. Now, I've been talking about it for the last couple of minutes and I can't leave you out to dry any longer, but anyone in this black circle tomorrow may be looking at for some long-tracked, powerful supercell thunderstorms. We've got a couple of left-moving storms and a couple of right-moving storms that we're expecting in this part of Queensland. This includes the Granite Belt and the Darling Downs, pockets of the Scenic Rim, the Lockyer Valley, outside of the Toowoomba area as well, and then north into the south and parts of the North Burnett Forecast District, and even extending out into the Maranoa and the Warriga Forecast District as well, and pushing up into the central coalfields and highlands to around Tarum and Eidsvold. Now, the risk is still very, very isolated and similar to what we saw yesterday in terms of our supercell thunderstorm forecast, a very, very isolated and a comparatively minimal risk for a few locations, but there will still be some stronger thunderstorms. These will mostly be in the later afternoon hours, one good pocket here towards the north of Toowoomba and one good pocket here just towards the south of Milmerin and Toowoomba as well for some significant supercell action. Very, very isolated isolated activity is expected and it's only going to be one or two strong thunderstorms but they could get very dangerous indeed and again they are expected to happen a little bit later on at night and you can see that here on the forecast modeling here from the eastern RF actually as we get out to about 5 p.m which is when this snapshot is taken we've got this line of storms beginning to push in and again you could interpret this as a bit of a squall line so maybe some late night squall activity can be expected but what I'm interpreting this as is a significant outbreak of one or two significant thunderstorms that could be pushing into parts of the scenic rim but developing most likely a little bit further inland. I'm sure you can tell I'm still a little bit confused and my head is still being scratched quite vigorously as to what we're actually expecting tomorrow afternoon. So take this with a hefty pinch of salt. And I guess I'm being conservative because of yesterday's forecast as well. And we are expecting very isolated storm activity. So a lot could go wrong in this forecast here. But again, just to reiterate, somewhere in this black circle, we are going to be seeing some significant storm activity sometime tomorrow afternoon, most likely towards the north of Toowoomba, pushing up in towards this area here, which could eventually impact Kingaroy and then out into parts of the South Burnett and even even inland from the Sunshine Coast, Maroochydore and Noosa as well. However, not likely to impact either of those locations. And then once again, moving through into parts of the scenic rim. The good news is with the direction of the winds in the lower level jet stream, we are expecting these thunderstorms to weave around the Brisbane area. If they develop south here around the Warwick area, they're going to be moving basically west to east. In fact, potentially northwest to southeast, which is going to take them well away from Brisbane and the Gold Coast. And if they de develop a little bit further north, such as outside of Chinchilla or Dolby, these thunderstorms are going to be dragged up towards the northeast, which which again, makes them miss the Brisbane area and will also make them substantially weaker if they ever become a Sunshine Coast problem. So that means that the risk in this orange circle here for strong thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon is very minimal. It's not zero. And again, considering the forecast and the fact that there are still a few uncertainties around, it's not a zero risk, but it is, again, substantially lower than what we saw yesterday and very much incomparable to what we saw on Monday as well. 
don't get me wrong, if we see supercell thunderstorms developing tomorrow afternoon and evening, and again, considering that this is the sounding just outside of Kingaroy here, massive dry air into the mid levels and some pretty good moisture up into the upper levels and the lower levels as well. If it can get warm enough throughout the day and there isn't as much cloud cover or storm activity throughout the day, something special may be on the burner. This is going to be a case of we're going to wake up tomorrow and see what the convective forecast modeling has to say. Right now, the convective forecast modeling is screaming powerful supercell thunderstorms, but that can change and it often does change on the day. So we're going to have to wait and see, but generally speaking, convective forecast modeling very rarely misses. And I'm basing this outlook here for powerful thunderstorms off some of the highest resolution convective forecast modeling that we have from the Axis convective forecast model. Now, what all that scientific goggly gook means for you is that it is a very reliable forecast with a lot of very reliable pointers behind it. Uh, and generally speaking, the Axis convective gets it right 98 times out of 100. It nailed Monday's storm forecast. It even nailed those storms towards the north of Brisbane yesterday afternoon and evening. So I've got great confidence in the Axis convective forecast modeling. And you can even see it here as we push out towards 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon already. A couple of strong thunderstorms appearing on that convective forecast modeling here around the Dolby and the Chinchilla area. And they'll go off into the Kingaroy area and then potentially up into the North Burnett forecast district as well. In terms of the risk for Harvey Bay, Bundaberg, Gladstone and Agnes Water, pretty minimal at this point in time. But upscaled versions of tomorrow night's thunderstorms may end up reaching there. And that could mean some heavy rainfall and a good lucking show is on the cards. And just talking about that rainfall as well, it's important that we cover all bases considering that tomorrow is going to be a bit of a rainfall day. We are expecting some pretty solid rainfall accumulations. Now, again, it very much depends on what thunderstorms roll through your location, but I do expect uh, extending from Emerald and Rolleston and Injun down through to Room, Eidsfold, and then across towards Kingaroy, and even as far towards the uh, southeast as Gympie in this area, widespread rainfall accumulations between 20 to 60 millimetres can be expected, with some scattered rainfall accumulations to 80 millimetres possible under the right thunderstorms, particularly if you get a couple of thunderstorms moved through throughout the day. Now, long track supercell thunderstorms will also present the risk of some heavy rainfall. And this is into this section here that I've labeled with a two. We may be seeing some pretty strong thunderstorms around the Kingaroo and, and the Chinchilla area. And if you cop a direct hit from them, not only will you be talking about the risk of large, potentially giant hailstones and destructive wind gusts up to 125 kilometers an hour, but you could also be looking at a third, further 30 to 50 millimeters of rainfall as well. Now, the scenic rim will be the wettest spot in Southeast Queensland tomorrow. Falls between 20 to 40 millimeters are expected there. Brisbane and the Gold Coast itself expecting somewhere between the 5 to 15 millimeter mark. Depending on what thunderstorms roll through, that could be tipped into a wetter or a drier uh, side of things, but we are still expecting some hit or miss, decent rainfall accumulations. And again, keep in mind, because this is going to be some more widespread but weaker thunderstorm activity, the majority of places are actually going to pick up some rainfall tomorrow, as opposed to yesterday's forecast, which said big rainfall accumulations are possible, but you're going to have to cop these thunderstorms, which are going to be very isolated and slow moving, if that makes sense. So the key message for tomorrow is if you cop them, you're going to cop some rainfall, and that's going to go for about 70 or 80 percent of the Queensland population in this warning forecast. So we will keep an up. Uh, we'll, we will keep close tabs on this situation here. And tomorrow morning's forecast update will paint a very clear picture, particularly in the late afternoon and evening stuff that we could be seeing through parts of the uh, Granite Belt and Darling Downs, the Scenic Rim, and then into the North and South Burnett forecast districts. Again, this is kind of an area that I'm now getting a little bit concerned about tomorrow afternoon and evening. It's a very isolated area, but if the convective forecast modeling holds true for tomorrow, some significant thunderstorm activity is a possibility. Now, what does this mean for you in Brisbane and Southeast Queensland and also those areas that I've highlighted for potential dangerous supercell thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon? Well, of course, it goes without saying, don't panic. Remain calm because the latest and greatest information will be coming out tomorrow morning and we can base a forecast off of that. So just through this as your heads up, we're not talking about a thunderstorm outbreak that you need to be making preparations for. And it is a weekend, so there's no school pickup, there's no work, or hopefully there's no work for you guys. I feel sorry for you if there was uh, through Southeast Queensland tomorrow afternoon and evening, so we don't really need to be making major plans around it, but expect some good rainfall through the afternoon hours and some potentially stronger thunderstorm activity into the evening hours, particularly around Kingaroy up towards Eidsvold, the inland to Tarum and Chinchilla. Keep an eye on this situation. Uh, there's nothing you can do if thunderstorms are headed your way, but get inside and make sure that you are fully prepared for them. And again, it might be a good idea to cover up cars if the forecast holds true tomorrow morning in this part of Queensland here. I think Toowoomba and Warwick should be fine, but it will also be a good idea to pay close attention to the tomorrow morning's forecast update as well, because that will have the greatest information on that too. Now, if you have enjoyed this forecast update, then please do consider subs subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it as well. Um, if you're wondering why it's a little bit later than usual, it's because I've had no power here today 
today, so I'm working off mobile hotspot, very, very slow indeed to upload. I am estimating a three hour upload time. Uh, and check out our channel sponsors. The list is absolutely massive right now. So I have to say a massive thank you to everybody that has signed up and gifted memberships as well in our recent live streams. And if you do want to get the latest and greatest information, then make sure you head over to my Facebook page as well. La Nina has been declared. I'll have a full write up on that momentarily, but that is going to be all for me today. I'll catch you on the next storm. Goodbye.